In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we gather, we pause to call to mind our sins and ask for the Lord's forgiveness and peace. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see. Fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, I will prove the holiness of my great name profaned among the nations in whose midst you have profaned it. Thus the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when in their sight I prove my holiness through you. For I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your ancestors. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. I will, I will pour, pour clean, clean water, water on you and wash away all your sins. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall return to you. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. For you are not pleased with sacrifices should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. I will, I will pour, pour clean, clean water, water on you and, and wash away all your sins. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus again in reply spoke to the chief priests and the elders of the people in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. 
He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time he sent other servants, saying, Tell those invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet, my calves and fattened cattle are killed, and everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then the king said to his servants, The feast is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out, therefore, into the main roads and invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and good alike, and the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to meet the guests, he saw a man there not dressed in a wedding garment. He said to him, My friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, Bind his hands and feet and cast him into the darkness outside where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. When I work with um, engaged couples as part of their marriage preparation process, one of the things we talk about is, is the burden of initiation, that if one of them is sort of always the point person for making sure things happen in the relationship, right? They're the ones who are always on for talking about an issue they need to talk about or some task that they have to, to complete. And there is a burden to it in a relationship if it's one person who's, who's always the one who's making sure that, that things are getting better. That burden is exacerbated if the other one in the relationship doesn't really care <laughs> or responds in such a way that says, I don't even think this is worthy of, of my time or, or energy. They just sort of coast along. So we get those dynamics today in the, in the scripture readings, where God obviously is the initiator of everything. The, the Ezekiel reading is this cadence of God saying, I will, I will do this, I will do this, I will do this, I will do this. And we get that in the gospel today too, with the parable of the king who's making every effort to, to make this party happen. And then the frustration of seeing the response, which is lackluster. So the readings today are an invitation to remind us that, that what God really wants from us is a relationship with us. And even if he's the one in the relationship who's always making things happen, the very least we can do, the very least, is show that we take it seriously, offer some gratitude or, or some response that says, I, I get, Lord, that you're doing the heavy lifting here. Um, that will make a difference. It will not only please God, but, but it will better our relationship with our Lord. Please stand for our intentions. We pray for the church and for members of the body of Christ throughout the world that by our growth in faith, hope, and charity this day, we might draw others to the good news of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Uh, we pray for a teachers, faculty, and a students as they return to school, especially those at St. Thomas More School today, uh, that God will bless the beginning of their new year. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We uh, pray for married couples and engaged couples, especially in those relationships where one person is burdened with uh, initiating the things that need to happen to better the relationship. 
we pray uh, that a response might be offered uh, that shows appreciation and gratitude for the labors of their partner. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves and our spiritual lives that we might devote the time and devotion and, and prayer and, and service uh, that honors God uh, daily. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, the hospitalized, the homebound, those under hospice care. We pray especially for those who battle mental illness or disease and who are, are easily misunderstood that God would draw alongside the men and women of goodwill to show them compassion and, and understanding. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died and those who will die today. In his mercy, may God forgive the sins of all the departed and welcome them to the joys of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray in a particular way this morning for Margaret Ewing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, uh, we give you thanks for the initiative you show in not only improving our lives, but bettering our relationship with you. We pray that we might never take it for granted, but by the way we live our lives today, show appreciation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are, are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink, drink this, this cup, cup, we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, of the world. have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.